Yo, what it do? Welcome back to another episode of Three Wands, where knowledge is given to you for you to turn into wisdom. It's Lord Shu back with another banger. If you're a new subscriber, please stick around, subscribe to the channel, like this video, and leave a comment. Let me know how you can let me know how I can make these videos better. Also, if you're a returning subscriber, welcome back, fam. We're gonna get into it today. So, last episode, we talked about the law of cause and effect. What you do has a consequence. So today we're going to talk about the law of gender, the universal law of gender. So I'm gonna grab hybrid manual. You can get this magazine for free at my website, shoelovesrebels.com, or you can go to hybrid manual, Lord Shoe on Amazon. The law of gender, the universal law of gender. Gender is in everything. Everything has its masculine and feminine principles. Gender manifests on all planes. What does it mean, Lord Shu? Can you tell me? All things have a masculine principle and a feminine principle. That's that's more of the line that stands out the most to me. If I'm a man, that means I have a nurturing side as well. But if I'm a woman, that means I have a side that takes action as well. Look at the times that we are now. We have women going to work instead of staying home taking care of the kids. And we have stay at home fathers now who take care of the kids while the women go to work. Because of this universal law, all forms of of a man and a woman are manifesting in these times. You would say we're more in the times where the universal laws make more sense. In easier times make weak, weak men, as they say, and in harder times make uh, stronger men. In all of our world, there are, are men who are doing both roles and there are women doing both roles. So what does that mean in our everyday life? That means that we don't have to see ourselves as just one thing. But the best way to really see ourselves is a being that doesn't hold a title. And that's where the real magic comes in. All of our lives, we're taught that we're something. We're showed that we're one thing or we're showed that we're another thing. And then the reality is, if we are in control of what we think, truly in control of what we think, that means the way that we think about ourselves is what we are. So we don't have a set thing that we are other than what our natural biological makeup is in a, in a sense still isn't even enough to prove that who we are is what we are because all things have a masculine and feminine principle and that comes down to even human beings so what can you do in a daily in your daily life to utilize the law of gender uh, one thing that I do as a shaman is looking at every gender as the opposite Number two, being completely androgynous. And I don't mean androgynous in the sense of dressing and being a dude wearing dresses and stuff like that. Like if that's what you wanna do, by all means, cool, whatever, you know, it's no biggie. But what I mean by androgyny is not being titled by a gender, even though you have, you display both, both uh, principles of male and uh, masculine and feminine energy, but you're not titled by these things, you know, you don't, succumb to these things but in fact you express yourself in all realms express yourself wholly because then you'll know who you actually are when you express yourself wholly and experience and are curious in, in different things now a lot of people probably not gonna like what I'm saying uh, a lot of people in the commercial world because uh, everybody keeps getting taught that men should act like men and women should act like women but the most power you can have is if you're not anything if you're just an alien, genderless race, race, no race or anything, you're just, you exist, you be. Do that, exist, be. Don't succumb to anything. Focus on the task at hand and fully have control over your thoughts and you'll, you won't be a part of any group of anything. So those are probably the two best ways I'd say that you can do that. So that's pretty much it for today's episode on the law of gender and that wraps up all of our videos about the universal laws, the seven core universal laws. Later, I will do all 12 and add the extra videos on later in the, in, into the series. But for now, I just want y'all to get familiar with the core laws so y'all can understand what's coming up next. And the next episode is gonna be a good one. I can't wait for this new one to come out, y'all. If you like this video, please click the like button. Leave a comment, let me know if this video helped you. Share it with somebody who you think it'll help and subscribe if you're a newbie. It's Laura Shu. Holla!